Okay. So you could be from Gambia, but you school here in K University. You form part of the association. So, so, so. Ghana Muslim students. Oh, so you guys have international students. Exactly. We have the foreign wing in Jamsa. Really? Yes, and we have oh. their president as well. So are there like scholarship opportunities for I mean you guys do you do something for the people who like, dance? No, no, we don't dance. <laughs> we do no, why? Why you why why is it that you put on the dance? We have over six thousand Muslims on campus. Really? Yes. Six thousand. Yes. We have over six thousand people here on campus. Shukran, Jazila. Wassalamu alaikum. Wassalamu alaikum. Not just any amount, it's over a certain amount, a standardized one, then you have to give zakat out of it. Okay, so from here we'll be going to any other place. Okay, so we we'll could go to the basement and then okay, so, so but this is the ablution area. Ablution. The male ablution area. Okay, ablution. So you know, and that's you know, so RME are not the council. Then ablution, <laughs> then things are not the council. So before you pray, you we'll have to perform ablution. Okay, that's like washing your hands. Exactly. Yeah. So you could see by this. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So we have tabs and seats here. Oh, okay, tabs and seats. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And this is the washroom. The washroom. So yeah, in case you want to visit the washroom, okay. this is it. Okay, so, so we are going to the basement. Okay, so guys, basement. The quad is up. If you want to go to the basement, you will go to the basement. Actually, I never entered here before. Yeah, yeah. Go this washroom and ablution here. So the ablution area, we have one as the. Okay. First floor, the ground floor. Okay. We also have one here at the basement. Oh, okay. So this is also another another ablution area yeah, for the boys. This is another washroom. Oh, okay. And okay. these are storerooms basically. Oh, okay, okay. So is here also another prayer session? No, no, no. So the okay. prayer areas are just just the top the guys. Mm -hmm. and the ladies are the top. That's why we call it an Islamic center. It's not just the prayer areas. We have offices as well. Oh, really? The so offices? The, yes. So we have the general office. General office. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is the back court of the mosque. Okay, the back court. Let me just look at the back court. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So this is the back court. Very nice. And the building is very nice. Very nice. So here are the offices. Yes. You have conference room. This is the imam's office. So where is your office? Yes. This is your office. So we can go to your office? Yes, you can Charlie go there. Charlie, we go in your office. James' <laughs> office. And this is Mr. Gong's office. What is that? What is Muslim it? lecturers. Oh, okay. So, okay, so, so Muslim lecturers. Our Muslim community is very organized to the extent that the Muslim lecturers themselves. Charlie, your man said they are organized. When you say you are Christians, you are not organized. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying that uh -huh. in relation to uh -huh. other sister universities. Okay, okay. You know, the Muslim community. Sister University? Yes. Last day. Oh, no, no. So, where? What I mean is the Muslim community here yeah. compared to other, other universities. universities. So, the Muslim you community. You guys are organized. Yes, you are very well organized. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's a known fact. Of course. I mean, you guys can even see they are very organized. You know, the offices. Uh, Muslim homes. Okay, this one is for the lecturers. Yes, this is for the Muslim lecturers. Okay. And then and this is a conference room. Mm -hmm. And then we have a library which is uncompleted. Oh, okay. so presently there are no books. There are no they books. Are okay. I went to the conference room, Charlie. Aha, uh -huh, then I had this question. Okay. You see, for time at the campus, as you see, your Muslim sisters, they will dress, they will cover their face like ninjas, then okay. Okay. You, okay. Ah, why? Why didn't they do that? You let's go. What's your answer? Why didn't they do that? Because sometimes eh, I really want to watch the face, but then the way you know, okay, this is like the conference. So the conference. The conference. Yes. So presently, there is a session okay. which is ongoing. Right. You know, in Jamaica. Oh, we'll let, let me let me greet them. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Abdul Razak, that be my name. So you said I'm Abdul Razak. So yes. This is Abdul Razak from SRC TV. Yes, exactly. oh, okay. Yeah, here to take a coverage of the Islamic Center. And he he gave Bastille. me that name, Abdul Razak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the conference room. Presently, we have to have a conference room. Nice, so. But sure. always, I'm going to cover them my face or... Yes, yeah. we don't want to make you body see them. Hey, why are you scared of the You're not good. Okay, so this is like the conference. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it.
like their place. It's a very nice place. Wow. And this is a library which is not completed. So there are no books. Oh, we have seen it. Okay. We have seen water and they have a sun. Yeah, because we have water and the fact the man. Yeah, you need water. Need water. Even the office we have. You know some breads and other oh, stuff we'll be okay. sharing tonight. Oh, tonight, yes. oh yeah, for, bread for the iftar. Okay, yeah. I mean, iftar is when we are breaking a fast. Every single day we break our fast here. Oh, okay. yeah, so we entreat all Muslim brothers to come around and break their fast here. Oh, okay. yes, but then so far, when you resume the office, have there been any challenges? But well, I know there's okay. nothing like hundred percent. Okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Within every association, we we'll definitely encounter challenges. Okay. Um, the challenges with us as the Muslim community or Jamesa okay. um, is yes, usually in uh, regards to finances. Oh, okay. Yes. You know, we rely on our DOs okay. to organize our programs and every other activity we undertake. Oh, okay. Yes. However, we do we sometimes organize programs um, very big. Okay. Like bigger than our budget, right? Oh, okay. So it all depends on the funds and we sometimes um, we didn't go bankrupt, but we will we go to the top or the boss is Okay, yes, it's not a very high yet. I see what I was saying. Okay, yes. Well, is it also in the Quran or something? Okay, so this is what we call the account. The address, no? the one that the, the, the face covering uh, is in the Quran. Okay, so okay. Let, me, let me briefly talk about it. So, guys, at the base, I'm saying there are women. No? Why then they dress like ninjas? Then they cover all them my face then too. So they explain that one. Uh -huh. okay, so we call it the niqab. Right? Okay. You know, um, in Islam, okay. a lady is supposed to cover herself okay. very well. Okay. And we have differences of opinions in regards to that. Okay. You know, it's an opinion of a group of scholars, and I think the majority, okay. that a Muslim lady is supposed to cover her whole body with the exception of her hands and her face. Okay. Right, so if you would observe the Muslim, Muslim sisters, not even those covering their faces, the Muslim sisters who are dressed in their hijab and their long abaya would only reveal their face and their hands. Okay. Right, that is um, an opinion of some scholars. Some scholars. Yes. And to others, even your face, it's an eyes. It is a uh, Beauty, or nakedness, okay. not really nakedness, but like the uh, beauty, which is something attractive of her. Okay. Right. And we don't want. We basically want to prevent fitna. What do you say, fitna? Fitna is harm. Um, harm. Yes. Danger. Okay. Right. And we, we don't want the case where you no know one make guys change the women. Yeah, yeah, so basically, they cover them up. Basically, basically. basically. So, oh, Charlie, why is they do so? You know, if you foresee the beauty, then approach them, take the number, then <laughs> also now if you take them, say every Muslim should go cover a face or no, she'll be fine. You why, can assume that. Actually, why? You know, actually, in fact, I should be a scholar so that I disapprove that. <laughs> but I think I appreciate the religion and books. Guys, I've really enjoyed myself at the KMS Mosque. Uh, is there any other thing you would want to talk about? Okay, then we didn't really talk about James as an association. Okay, yes, yes. So then let's, the let's talk about the association now. So, James, what was the full So, the full meaning of James is Ghana Muslim Students Association. Okay. Not Ghanaian Muslim Student Association. Okay. Right? Ghana. Ghana Muslim Student Association. But what was the Which means, okay, so when we say Ghanaian Muslim Student Association, but that, that would be. Like a gang. The only way doesn't exist. Okay. But the perception people have about Jemsa is what I'm trying to clarify. Okay. Right? If the Ghana clarify, Muslim clarify. Students clarify. Association, it's an association for every Muslim student who schools in Ghana. Okay. Not every Muslim student who's a Ghanaian. Okay. You are getting the difference. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay. So you could be from Gambia, but you school here in K University. You form part of the association, association. Ghana Muslim Students. Oh, so you guys have international students? Exactly, we have the foreign wing in Jemsa. Really? Yes, and we have their president as well. Oh, okay, you also have their president. Yes, you know, the Jemsa is very decentralized. Okay. Aside the myself as an executive and my co executives, we have the offices. Okay. So we have Jemsa executives, we have Jemsa offices, then we have the general assembly. Okay. I get it. So with the Jemsa offices, 
we have committees in Jemsa, okay. just like some other associations. We have the sports committee, welfare committee, educom, educational committee, okay. dawa committee, okay. editorial board committee, right? And all these committees are also headed by chairmen. Okay. They have their chairperson. Are you for when are you giving us SRC president? Get okay, yes, one you from know. the Muslim people giving us a, yes, a yes. We, we, we really, we really wish to have one. Yeah, in yeah. The future. Hopefully, yeah. If hopefully. if you are made the SRC president, what is that one policy you really have in mind to bring for your Jinsa people? Okay, I haven't really thought, really of, thought that. of that. However, okay. if I'm to mention one offhandedly, um, that would be to um, establish the Muslim community under its own chaplaincy. Oh, okay. So are there like scholarship opportunities for, I mean, you guys, do you do something for the people who are here? Okay, so as it stands now, we are not in the capacity to provide scholarships for people. However, um, we know we have a patron, he's okay. a Muslim lecturer. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. we have okay. a patron. And he does receive some opportunities, you know, once a while. Okay. And when it comes, we okay. trust that it's to locate to the appropriate mm -hmm. students and then granted to them so you guys you have games like aside coming to the mosque exactly exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. The so as an association mm -hmm. um, we do almost all things every association is supposed to do for its members right okay. from the religious aspects to spirituality mm -hmm. to edu educating mm -hmm. education to entertainment, entertainment. We do all that can right? you score the dance then? oh we don't dance <laughs> Do no, why? Why, you, why? why is it that you put on the dance? <laughs> we do entertain ourselves, however, we don't dance. We don't do what is contrary to the teachings of Islam. Okay. Yes, in Islam, we don't sing and dance. Oh. Yes, if you are to sing and dance, according to the majority of the scholars, it should be female only, oh, okay. where there is no opposite um, gender, opposite sex. So does that mean there are some job opportunities that probably Islams are not allowed? Oh, exactly. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. There are... There are Jobs, which is not. I possible. hope you guys are not against any program on campus. Oh no 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 no! no, no because no, the moment no, you talk no, about jobs, it no, looks no, no, like you no, know. No, no, no. Yeah, but there are certainly um, occupations which is not permissible for Muslims to venture into. Okay. And there are occupations which is permissible for Muslims to venture. However, there are certain things within that same occupation where Muslims are supposed to. Okay. Muslims you don't take interest. Okay. So if in your workspace, by chance, you are supposed to. Get some interest in you have to take it. You, know, you have to you have to shun it. All right. All right. So Mukadas, we've really had a great time with you. But before we before we end, uh, any message for your Muslim brothers and sisters and even the student body at large. You can watch the camera and so firstly to the Muslim community, the Muslim brothers and sisters watching us. Um Jimsa is here for you. Jimsa is Ghana Muslim Students Association. Um, you know, one thing is, we have over 6,000 Muslims on campus. Really? Yes. 6,000? Yes, we have over 6,500 something okay. Muslims on campus. However, the active Muslims who participate in Jemsa is far less than that. Okay. So that's just about 1,000. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's a bit problematic okay. because Jemsa is that umbrella for every Muslim student on campus. Okay. You don't Jemsa isn't for a particular group of Muslims. Okay. Right. It's for every Muslim student on campus. So if you are out there watching me and you are a Muslim student and you don't come around to participate in Jemsa activities, I would entreat you to come around because Jemsa okay. is for every Muslim student on campus. And we do have very beneficial educative insightful programs which is going to develop you personally and professionally wow. so i'd entreat each and every muslim out there to take jemsa as they are home away from home home away from home all right so that was a powerful one for mukadas and guys as i told you guys the visit over here was indeed a success and it was very interesting i hope you guys learned a lot does the association have any social media handles? Oh, yes, 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 yes. They can follow you guys. Yes. So you could follow Jemsa K N U S T on Instagram, Jemsa K N U S T official. Okay. You could also follow us on Facebook, Jemsa K N U S T, Jemsa K N U S T, and on YouTube we have a YouTube channel as well. We also build in a small small. Okay. Yes, Jemsa K N U S T official on YouTube. Okay. Yes, and on Twitter X, Jemsa K N U S T. Official. But before we go, show me some small Arabic so that I see it, and then uh -huh, some okay. small. Okay, so we're very basic Arabic. Yeah, basic one.
Aside assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum is a greeting. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, uh, and then you could say kaifa haluk. Assalamu alaikum. Kaifa. Now I want to tell them like guys, so that'll be it for today. Have a good time. Okay, then I say it again. So we usually depart by right? saying shukran jazil and that is we are very grateful. Thank you. Shukran assalamu alaikum. Sukran Jazila. Sukran Jazila. Sukran Jazila. Wassalamu alaikum. Wassalamu alaikum. Guys, that's it, guys. That's it. <laughs> I'm done, guys. Subscribe to the channel.